Hey GED students, I am super excited to work this problem for you guys. Well, it got sent to me by a student on YouTube. Teresa dropped it in the comments of one of my videos and was curious how to do it. So I actually took your problem, Teresa, and um, made it three parts so that we could really look at all the ways the GED might make you do this kind of a skill on this kind of a problem. So let's take a look. Uh, it says a rectangular garden has a width of W feet. Oh, right there. Welcome to the world of algebra. We don't know how wide the garden is, so we're just going to call it W. W is standing in for an unknown or missing number. And then it says something interesting. It says the length of the garden is four feet more than two times its width. So it doesn't tell us what the length is, but it tells us how the length is related to the width. I'll say that again. It tells us how the length is related to the width. It's telling us about the length in terms of the width. That's how math teachers say that. And take a look at part A. A is what Teresa sent me. It says write an algebraic expression. Write an expression in terms of W. So your expression is going to have a W in it. And uh, it needs to be an expression that represents the length of the garden. So what do we know about the length of the garden? Well, right now we know that the length of the garden is four feet more than two times its width. Now that sounds a little tricky, except for we have this letter to stand in for width. We said W is gonna stand for the width. So we need four feet more than two times the width or four feet more than two times W. All right, we said its width was W. Okay, so four feet more than two times W. So let's start with the two times W. How can you get two times W? Well, really easy when you want to multiply together a number like two and times it with a letter, you just shove them real tight together. So two times W is two W. All right, but we don't want 2w, we want 4 more than that. We want to start at 2w and go up by 4. We want 4 more than that. We're going to add 4 to it. And boom, this is an expression that represents the length of the garden. It's twice the width plus 4 more. 4 more than twice or 2 times the width. All right, and then you might say, well, what now? I don't know what that is. You don't have to know what it is. All they asked you to do was write an expression. You're literally done. That was the answer to your question. Okay, that being said, but when Teresa sent me this, I said, oh my gosh, they might not stop there. They might ask you to take the math a little bit further. So let's look at two other ways the GED could use the same information. They might tell you to write a simplified expression in terms of W to represent the perimeter of the garden. One of the things they love to do with rectangular shaped things is perimeter. So let me go ahead and finish drawing that picture I was looking at here. So up here we said that the width was W. You know what? I think I need a bigger rectangle. Let's put it over here. Okay. So this is W and then we said the length is 2W plus 4. So there is my rectangle, and I want to write a simplified expression to represent the perimeter. Well, what is the perimeter? The perimeter of a shape is the distance around the outside of a shape. And hopefully you guys know that to find the distance around any, uh, any shape, I can just add up all the sides. And you say, but Kate, I don't know how long the sides are. No, but you have expressions to represent each one of the sides. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add up all the sides. So let's start with the first side. This side is how long? Well, it's W long, W. And now I need to add up all the sides. So I'm gonna add this side. Well, how long is this side? 2W plus four. So I'll add 2W plus four. But remember, I have to get all the way around the shape to do the perimeter. So I need to add on this side. You say, Kate, I don't know how long that side is. Well, yeah, you do. Opposite sides of rectangles are equivalent. So if the one over there is W, then guess what? This one is also W, so I'll add another W in. And then I need to add this side as well. And of course, if this side's 2w plus 4, so is this one. So I'll add in 2w plus 4 plus 2w plus 4. And this is an expression that represents the perimeter, but do notice that they wanted us to simplify. Once we wrote this expression, which we did, they want us to do any simplifying we can do. Now, in the world 
of algebra when you're adding that's what all these things are doing w plus 2w plus 4 plus w plus 2w plus 4 i'm supposed to be adding we are only able to add and subtract like terms so the same kinds of things so for example all the w's are going to be like so w plus 2w plus w plus 2w. Well, how many w's is that? Well, there's one, one, and then two more, so two, three, and then another one, four, and then two more, so five, six. We end up with six total w's. Okay, wonderful. And now plain old regular numbers, those are called constants, are always like, so we can always add those. So if I add four and then add four again, I've added a total of four plus four, or eight. And so the simplified expression that represents the perimeter of the garden is six w plus eight. I'm done. Be careful not to try to add W's and plain old numbers. We can only combine like terms. I can't do any more addition. This is as simple as this is going to get. It is done. The perimeter here is uh, 6W plus 8. And it's 6W plus 8 feet if you were looking for a unit, as would that one. That one would be feet as well. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so now let's try the last one. It says write a simplified expression in terms of W to represent the area of the garden. All right, let's get our garden back. Our garden's a rectangle. We know it's W wide and 2W plus 4 long. This time they've asked us to find the area of the garden. Well, whether you can have it memorized or you can look at the GED formula sheet, but the area of a rectangle is found by multiplying together the width and the length. So we can do that. We can multiply together the length and the width or the width and the length. I'm just going to multiply these two numbers. I'm going to take w and I'm going to times it by, notice how I use parentheses, 2w plus 4. I have to make sure to use parentheses so that the width multiplies with the whole number and not just part of it. And now, hopefully you know, when a something is shoved up against the parentheses here, we're going to pass it out. I'm going to multiply the W times every term in there. Okay, so W times 2W. Uh, let's see, there's only one number, so just the 2 is going to be out there. And then W times W, well, we use exponents to talk about repeated multiplication. So W times W is W squared. And now I need to do W times positive 4. You say, Kate, I don't know what W is. That's okay, just write the number first, positive 4 times the letter W, and you have multiplied. And you are done. Once again, we can only combine like terms. So I cannot add W squareds and W's. They're not the same kinds of things. And so I'm done here. 4W squared plus 4W is the simplified expression that would represent the area of this garden. All right. So lots of GED applications here of um, writing expressions, but also perimeter and area. Any one of these three problems could be seen on the GED, so be prepared. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.